welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a Tesco's food haul. Um, today is actually Friday the 20th of April and it's way day. Um, but while I was waiting I decided I had a food delivery so I thought I'd do a little food haul for you just to let you know what I've got for the shopping ahead. Usually I do, I'm not doing another shop sort of beginning of next week because um, I already had a food delivery this week um, at the weekend but I I desperately needed some stuff and I really couldn't be bothered to go shopping um, I just thought I'd just do it for the whole week and then it's done um, and yeah I haven't got to go out next week then and do another food shop so let's get started and I'll show you what I got right so let's get started um, I've got white bread that is just for Darren and the boys I don't even have I don't even know how many things it is um, lens with curls because I love, love these um, I posted them on my Instagram and a lot of people said that they like them um, and also said on the live that they like them. So that's, I got some of those, just like I don't mind that, I'm really low. Um, I've got, I thought I bought a normal size butternut squash, I bought a large one. So I'm going to make something with that. Um, I was actually going to make a pasta sauce I saw someone had. So I've screenshotted the recipe um, and you make kind of like a pasta sauce with the butternut squash, but I'll probably do a separate video on that. Um, passata. Um, it was an offer in Tesco's. I can't remember how much. It's, it was really good price, about 65, maybe 69. Two lots of eggs, because we use these a lot. Peppers, because I use lots of peppers. I just kind of buy, bought the individual ones. You can buy the packs. Um, sometimes I buy the sweet pepper packs, which are good, because they work out better value, but they didn't have any. So I just bought these. I've got so many green peppers, and I do like green peppers, but... Um, for some of the recipes, I just prefer a sweeter pepper. Um, so, yeah, there's speed, the passata speed, butternut squash is speed. Um, easy peelers, they are speed. Oh, the odd pork there. Um, that's protein, so you can have that on SP day. Active ear yogurts, these are Sydney's. I don't know, 111, so that's five and a half cents, maybe. I don't have those. Sydney likes those and Darren. Uh, my almond breeze. This is an offer at the moment in Tesco's. It's two for two fifty. Um, I have seen it cheaper at other times on offers, but I just grab it whenever it's on any offer, just because I use this and I really like this, and I can sort of stock up on it. Um, double strength now added sugar squash, which is free. Domestos. <laughs> it's not a speed it's not free it's um yeah it was on offer and i i do sometimes use tesco's own bleach but i do find this is a thicker bleach just for bleaching sinks and toilets um i bought this 1001 carpet fresh thai orchid, orchid fragrance and yeah i saw jane sw said she was going to use it so i thought oh yeah our carpet can smell a little bit um just because it has things going through it all day because um, it's kind of like our hallway <laughs> we walk through it all the time and um, Darren has maxed it recently but I thought that'd be handy and um, it wasn't an offer I can't remember how much it was but it's not something I would use all the time but it's just like to freshen up now and again and um, Harpick was an offer we have three toilets uh, well we have two at the moment Darren's just taking the other one out <laughs> to put a new one in um see so yeah, I like to keep some right by the toilet um great nut um, this was I think three pound is pricey but it is worth it and it does last um, I bought some ages ago I can't even remember when just a long time ago and I've still got some of it um, and I have it probably at least once a week now um, it's just really low so I thought I'd get some before I run out more quark I actually bought some quark yesterday from Waitrose um, because I wanted to try it and it was an offer but I do like the Tesco's cork. This is now my new favourite cork, I think. I want to try the Aldi one and the Asda one. Um, as Helen from the Livingstons has been testing, um, because she tried cork for the first time, or just qu tried cork again. I can't remember. I think it was Gail that hadn't tried it before. But yeah, uh, over on Instagram that was. Um, I've got lasagna pasta, because I'm going to make um, Gemma's Journeys a lasagna that she made the other day. It looked delicious. So I thought I would give that a go. Um, along with the cheese and chive cottage cheese that she used. It's a fat free one, which I believe is free. I'm gonna double check that, but hers was sin free for using the cheese as a healthy extra beast. So I presume that is sin free. 
I will check the app. Like everything, please check the app. Um, blueberries, their speed. These one offer black pitted cherries, which I love. Um, I've got two packets of those because I do love them and the boys love them as well. Um, I don't know why I randomly bought this when I bought the jars, but yeah, a Posata. <laughs> um, but it's fine, it was last close in the cupboard. Um, chopped tomatoes, again, these are speed, same as the Posata. Um, these are really good. Uh, the, again, these are off, so I just thought I'd get a couple of packs. Um, they're just so handy when I'm working. Um, I just cooked some chicken in the afternoon, and I just um, if I, I did an SP day, and I literally had two packets of these. Um, and yeah, they were just handy. So they're a bit more expensive. I don't know if I buy them at full price, but when they're on offer, I will. And yeah, that's all speed in there. So brilliant. I've got two packets of those. Weight Watchers wraps, these on offer. These are a pound. Um, in Tesco's, they're on offer. I, think, I don't know many places that actually sell them. Uh, vegetable bean sprout mix. Fancy dinner stir fry. Probably might do one tonight, actually, for myself with some fish or something but yeah i don't think it's going to last otherwise yeah no it won't because i'm going to make probably the lasagna tomorrow um rocket lollies these are actually two cents each i didn't realize i bought them for the kids um and we've had them in the freezer for a while now so yeah i didn't actually realize that they were only two cents um pizza express pizzas they were actually on offer and they're for darren and the boys tonight and um, darren's actually going up to Hertfordshire today so he wants something when he get in and this will be quite quick for him and yeah just pizza friday honey roast ham which is free eat um now you probably can have um also got gouda these are for darren just for sandwiches and that um but these probably can have as a healthy extra a but need to check those i'm not sure about that <laughs> Um, but they were oh, how many sins are they? They're 88, so I guess that's like four, four and a half sins a slice. Um, but yeah, I don't really have them. Now, I bought these, these are actually for Darren, but to be honest, I think I might have one. There's only three in a pack double coconut magnum. They are, now I've worked at the value 11 and a half sins each, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, so I might actually save some sins one day and have one of these and enjoy it because um, I wouldn't touch Magnum otherwise. There are some that are quite a bit higher sins. I know the mini ones aren't as bad um, and they're so rich that that's all you would need that to satisfy you. So yeah, I think I might have one of these one day. I'm going to put them in the freezer, hiding from the kids. <laughs> um, baby Bell, you can have, oh, I can't remember how many it is you can have. I'm just having a look. 42... I think you can have three of the Baby Bell Light. Double check the app, but I'm sure it's three of the Baby Bell Light as your healthy extra A. Um, or you can have them, I think it's two sins each. Um, but yeah, I just had one yesterday, one of the normal ones. I really enjoyed it, just like having it on the side. So yeah, because I don't use all my healthy extra A, I think I might just have to have one um, when I'm not using my healthy extra A or something else like cheese. Um, options, these were on offer, I've got a mixture of flavours, white chocolate, um, salted caramel and Belgian chocolate, they are, I think they're all two sins each, so one sin for half a pack, but just double check again the app, it might be more, it might be one and a half for half. Um, I saw the big fella does Slimming World, um, a lovely Alec, um, he bought these in his food hall, so I was like, oh, might try these myself, um, yeah, they're only like less, 10 calories or less. So I've got the apple and watermelon, uh, raspberry, and the black forest gatto, which I'm hoping is a bit cherry-ish, maybe. Um, but I, I, you know how I love my cherries. Um, so they're only half a sin each. So I just thought they're a nice little snack just to have now and again. And they can keep them in the cupboard. You don't need to put them in the fridge. I probably maybe put them in the fridge before I eat them, just so they're a bit cold. Um, chicken, which is free. The Shah gluten-free white giabatta rolls. Now these are actually, you can have one of these as your healthy extra B. Um, and they are really nice. Now I've just bought a waffle maker, which I'm going to show you afterwards, which has got a panini 
you can change it to panini. So I thought you could do one of these with like some mozzarella in there, maybe some tomatoes. And yeah, have it as like a really nice lunchtime snack, basically. So yeah, that's what I might actually do a video on it and let you know how I get on. But I will show you in short leaf what I've bought. Um, tomato puree, which I presume is a speed. Um, but yeah, it's definitely free. Fruit pastel lollies. These are three sims. They are for the boys as well. And bubble gum lollies. These are lovely and the boys love them as well. They've actually discovered them in the freezer. <laughs> so yeah, they are three sims as well. Um, golden savoury rice. Loving this at the moment. Really loving this. And it's free. So yeah, handy when, again, I, if I do some chicken, I can have some of that with some vegetables. Just when I get in from work. Excuse this cloth. This is just um, a table protector. I've just had to wash the um, the cover that goes on it. <laughs> it's filthy. Um, you can have two of these, I think. Double check the app. Two of these as your healthy extra A. And um, yeah, they're just nice with burgers. We had I had some last night on my burger. Just melted it slightly. It's yummy. And also. Yeah, lots of things you could use. Um, you could like do a sandwich maker. You could put one of these in it. Um, yeah, lots of things. So I've got they're handy just to have in, and they've got a long date on them as well. These aren't till October, so they'll last a while. Um, chopped tomatoes again. These were on offer, so that's why I got them individually. Uh, Tesco's mature cheddar lighter. That's for me. Again, I think you can have yeah forty grams as your healthy extra A. Cathedral Trev Cheddar, you can have, I can't remember how many sins or what you can have as your healthy extra A, but you can have it as your healthy extra A, just, um, it's just a lot less than the uh, lighter one, but it's just for the boys and Darren. Um, clover for the kids and Darren for their sandwiches, chopped tomatoes again. Um, double strength cherries and berry squash, loving this, really loving this. Anything cherries, you know me, I love cherries. So yeah, I really like it, Darren likes it, the kids like it. So we're going through that at the moment because it's so warm out there. And lemon and lime zero, I really like this at the moment. Um, and it's free. And again, diet coke, ch feisty cherry. It does seem a little bit more feisty than the cherry coke, so I really like that. Um, and that's free as well, because it's the sugar-free one. Um, yeah, that's my shopping. I don't try to have a lot of the fizzy drinks. I just like them now and again, just to sort of... I probably drink, have been drinking them a lot more than I would of before Simming World, um, because I don't like what's in them. <laughs> but just... Yeah, I only have them now and again. I don't drink them all day. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, that's my food shop for today. I will show you my new waffle panini slash sandwich maker. So, here is my three-in-one snack maker. It's Sorta. Now, I got it from Robert Dias. I know Amazon sell it as well. It's about, you're paying for delivery. It's like for like, really give or take a few pence but I actually went and just picked it up in Robert Dyer so I ordered it online and did click and collect but they actually had loads in stock this time anyway when I went to the shop um so yeah I will show you what it's like so basically I haven't actually opened it yet so I should turn you around no that's not gonna work is it oh right so you get out the packaging I will turn you around. So I've taken it out and it comes, well, aut automatically you've got the panini maker in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's turn it around a little bit more. There you go. Um, so you've got the panini maker in there and I think you just press these buttons and that pops out um, somehow. Oh. No, it's all right. <laughs> It hasn't broken. Um, and again, you do the same here. Pop it out. I think it's probably better when it's uh, complete. Oh, it's completely open. And then you just, I don't know if it's got top and bottom. So you've got the sandwich maker here. 
then you can just pop those in. I don't think it matters what way round it goes. And you've also got the waffle maker, which is quite nice and deep because some of them can be quite thin. Um, so I'm going to make some waffles. I'm not sure when. I might make them this afternoon. I might make them a little snack for me and the boys. Um, I th think I'm grating some potato. Maybe a bit of carrot, whisk and egg. Yeah, I will show you anyway what it turns out like. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was quite a good idea. I guess you just spray it with some fry light and Bob's your uncle, as they say. Just got to work out how to put it back in now. No. Doesn't like it goes in there. Okay, that's definitely going in that way. That's it. So yeah, it's quite simple. Just a slot back in. And uh, here's the other one. I guess that goes in there. And that goes... Oh, does it want to? Does it go around that way? So it goes in there. And slots in there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wouldn't make a good demo, I wouldn't get a job on that, was it QVC? I can't do it, it goes in that way, oh I see, right, you have to put that way in first, that goes in first, hang on, no because then that doesn't go in there, no, I'm not having much luck, <laughs> right I don't want to, there we go. That's it. You kind of have to force it in. So it's all done. And that's it. So this, I'm going to leave this one in actually because this will be handy for later. And I guess it will be just the same as my sandwich maker. I just plug it in, wait for, I think a red light will come in, wait for the green light to come on. Put your stuff in. Or oh, start cooking it, pull it down. And done. When, it, when the green light comes off. I will have a look anyway. But yeah. I will show you what it looks like when I finished my, I can see this getting scratched, but um, I will show you what it looks like when I finish my waffle, <laughs> when I attempt to make it, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know. So I said I'd come back to you um, and show you what I'm going to make, so I've grated some potato and I just need to plug this in, so let it get warmed up. Oh, take off the plastic on the plug. So, uh, yeah, I've grated some potato. I'm just going to grate the rest of it in there. So I'm just kind of making this up as I go along, guys. So, I think you can add carrot instead. I'm actually going to add... In fact, I might just do the whole lot. That'll do. Right. I'm just gonna just put, I should use a knife. I'm just being lazy. I'm just gonna grate some courgette. In there. Just about a quarter. Just for a little bit of speed. Not too much because it can get quite watery otherwise. And uh, add a bit of now I'm gonna actually turn you round here get my salt of pepper out. Ooh. I knew that would happen. Now I've got to fix you back up again. <laughs> Hang on. Right, so I've grated um, some courgette and potato. I'm just going to put some salt and pepper just to give it a little bit of seasoning. Right. Oh, let's stay at my cutlery drawer. There's so much stuff in it. Um, and I'm going to put an egg in it just to bind it all together. And. Oh, sorry, something smelt in the oven. I put the oven on, but it just smells. It smells funny. Right. So I've just bind that all together. I might just put the rest of this potato in while it's there. It really smells from the oven. 
see what that is. Right, that is definitely it now. Oh, it's this, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot this was on. <laughs> right. Wow, that gets warmed up quick. Um, I should have got more organised. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to... Shut, turn off. So I'm going to spray it with some coconut fry light on both the top and the bottom. I might have to use both sides. Now I think some grated cheese would be really nice in this, but I've already used my healthy extra A. I've got sin, sin, ugh, six sins left, which I may save for a chocolate bar later. And this is, I'm just sort of making a snack with this. I'm actually going to do, because I think it'll be too thick then. Oh no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do the whole lot. So that I actually get a whole waffle size. There we go. I didn't even read the instructions, so I think I'm doing this right. <laughs> yeah, so basically I'm just going to pop it down. And uh, I'll come back to you when it's finished. So... It's been cooking here for about seven, eight minutes now. I kind of realised where I went wrong. I put egg in. Um, yeah, I should have read the manual. <laughs> you can put egg in it, it's fine. It's just made, it's made it more of a, like a waffle rather than like a hash brown thing. So yeah, I did it wrong. But I, th I still think it'll be right. Um, so I did check it and I've turned it off now. And um, there it is. So I'm going to try and attempt to get this out. It seems it could probably no. It's meant to be how it is. So I'm just gonna take this out. This comes out really easily. Look, it's like you don't even need to wash it. Um, oh, let me just get a. Sorry, but the clothes side. I'm just gonna put this down so I don't catch my hand on it. Be careful as well. This top bit is quite. Quite a bit hot on this one. Right, so taste test. It's going to be a bit hot at the moment. So I think I might need to let it cool down first. But yeah, it's got that waffle consistency. Um, not the hash brown thing I was after. <laughs> Potato waffle. That's what it is, a potato waffle. Right, I'm going to break a bit off, but I think I might let it cool down first, because otherwise I'm going to burn my mouth. So yeah, I will come back to you once it's cooled down a bit. Right, so it's just cooled down for a few minutes. Um, a little taste test. Right. So, there it is. Courgette potato waffle. Not the hash brown thing that I was going to try. I think I should just squeeze any water out, like maybe put it in some kitchen roll or something. But it's actually really nice. But even with the egg, I would definitely make this again. It's um, with a bit of cheese. Mmm, and it's free. If you add the cheese, you can use your healthy extra B, which I could easily do because I don't use half my almond milk, but I'm sinning my almond milk today because I've used my um, processed cheese for the for lunch there. But yeah, be even just a couple of sins worth of cheese would just give it a bit of flavouring, but it's really nice. Mm. I'm going to finish this off. But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my haul and my waffle waffling experience um if you've enjoyed this um video please give us a thumbs up and leave any comments below but um thank you for watching and i shall speak to you soon take care bye <laughs>